Um, this is a very special day. I mean, here we are on the first day. You mean it's day. the first day that we released the DVD in the UK? That's the special day. That is, is that a it? special day. Okay. Although, uh, for a DVD <laughs> release to be, to be travelling from London to Scotland on the first ever train to be named after a film, that's quite nice, isn't it? It's fantastic it's to have a train named after a film. It's just a great honour. And what a film as well. And I think it seems appropriate that it's a, a train that's been named Skyfall because trains have played such an important part in so many Bond films. They sure have. I mean, you think of all the train fights that uh, poor Bond has had to endure from Robert Shaw and Russia with Love. And uh, certainly in this one, I mean, it was one of the scariest times we had making this film when we were in Turkey and Daniel and Ola Rapaz were on the roof of the train fighting as we were going at high speed. Uh, and I mean, I had my heart in my mouth the whole time. I mean, they were extraordinary the way, you, when you see the film, you can see that they were doing their own stunts. Uh, spectacular. It must be it must be terrifying for you guys, particularly as producers of the film, to have your star going. Yeah, I want to. I want to do this myself. I <laughs> no wanna, kidding. I want to yeah. get on the roof of that train. No kidding. But you know, he he is very very um, professional, and so he makes sure that you know that he really rehearses. We have a great stunt team, and so they he puts a lot of time into developing the stunts and the action with the team with the second unit director, with Sam Mendes noting. So they, you know, they do it very properly and because obviously safety is, is paramount. But one of, uh, one of the most uh, action-packed and memorable Bond openings ever, I'd say. Absolutely. It's, um, it was exciting to see it film and, and then cut together and then see how the audiences react to it. It's a great sequence. And in terms of the route we're actually taking, we're mirroring the climax of a Skyfall, Daniel Craig and uh, Judy Dench. Going up to uh, Edinburgh, aren't we? Yeah. And uh, back home to uh, where Fleming lived, right? The Fleming family came from, and Bond's original home. And what's, what's nice, I think, is, is just uh, how the, the more intimate climax to this film in particular really seemed to chime with audiences, this reveal of something that people had previously not known about Bond's history. Right, I think, you know, that's one of the things that Daniel Craig has done so brilliantly uh, since he's become James Bond, was to really allow people to kind of see the inner life of Bond. And he's not someone who, who talks a lot about how he feels, but uh, Daniel manages to kind of show the audience the, the inner life. And um, in this film, it was very important because it was the 50th anniversary. We wanted to bring Bond back to his ancestral home and to kind of explore a little bit of his past. And obviously, his relationship with M and the way that that is resolved in this film uh, was very poignant. And we're just so happy that the audiences um, have embraced the film and uh, because it is the 50th anniversary. It's very important to us. And they have embraced it. Audiences love it. It's the most successful British film in, uh, in the history of cinema. It's <laughs> not congrats. amazing. I, uh, congratulations on that. The best British film, BAFTA, as well. I mean, uh, two things really. Firstly, did you expect this amount of success when you first started putting Skyfall together? And also, has that increased the pressure for Bond 24 following this? I, well, I don't think anyone uh, can appreciate this kind of success to be the number one film ever in the UK, to have both popular and critical success and uh, have the great reviews we've had, and to be worldwide now. I think we're number seven in the you know, worldwide box number office five. of all time. Lucky number seven. It is a good number yeah, seven. It's how fortunate. And, it's and you know, the, uh, and, and it's been the biggest Sony picture ever, and since Gone with the Wind, the biggest MGM film ever. So it's quite, quite a success, and it is very daunting to think how we can ever live up to this kind of success again. And what we're going to do next time to do this is really uh, something I don't even want to think about. <laughs> Uh, well, I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. It's been a pleasure talking to you Thank both. You. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Alex, so much. Thank you, guys. A genuinely